What's up and good morning guys, welcome back to another video and today's video is going to be a very parts filled video because as you can see in the back seat of the old BBB here, we've got a lot of boxes of parts there. We got a couple boxes from Agoy's, we got some from CP Addict over there. And these aren't even all the parts that we're going to be talking about in today's video because that's why we're heading to the warehouse right now. Because Are you selling me that truck or what? You wanna buy it? Yeah, what's up, dude? It's for sale, I'm trying to get a new truck. So. What do we got? Well, let me go look at it. You guys may remember at Duramax underscore diesel, Instagram, and YouTube. So your other truck you, you took back home, right? Yeah, I drove it across country and it's back home. Uh, it's an 05 LOI. I tend to stick to the LOIs. So I hear you, I hear you. Everyone hates them, but I love them. All right. Uh, it's stock. It's got a five inch exhaust, uh, lift pump, and upper control arms. How many miles are on it? 180. 180. All right, all right, all right. Who, who did the paint job? I don't know, I bought it like that. <laughs> okay. But I like, and just the other thing, like I pulled the fender flares off to check everything, and it's got, you know, just where scratches. rubbing, but, and the clear coat, because Cali, so. Just gotta work on it, get it all cleaned up. Dermax Diesel's here because he's actually buying a gimbal that I had just bought. He actually just opened it out of the package. I've had it sitting in the garage for like two months, and I was out of the return window. I got the wrong one, so, uh, what do you think, buddy? It's a pretty sweet new gimbal, huh? Yeah, it's sweet. I don't even know what's going on here. <laughs> I don't either. I've never opened it. You're the first this person that's is, opened it. This is out of my like filming league, you know. I've just been rocking the old school. Well, this is how you learn. Camera on the stick. So you guys may be wondering what we got from McGoy's. This is actually the lowering kit for the Tahoe, and we're gonna be cracking into that in the next few days. Over here from CP Addict, we've got some more parts. And just because I like to always uh, have a disclaimer out there, these were not sent to me by CP Addict. I actually paid for these. They did send me a bunch of stuff for the OBS, but you know I like to support companies that support me as well. There we go. So this is the new door strengthening plate. I don't know really what it's called, which should take any of the flex out of the door that's causing me to break handles. And in here we've got two actual billet handles. That way uh, we don't have to deal with broken handles anymore. But what today's video is mainly about, and that is over here in the box. And again, full disclosure, this was sent to me from Banks. Oh, and before we get any further, we do have a k and intake that showed up for the SEMA Tahoe build as well. So we've essentially got all of our SEMA Tahoe parts other than wheels. And I think yesterday, if you guys were on my Instagram, you guys actually took a poll and pretty much solidified for me what wheels we're gonna go with for the SEMA Tahoe. So we should be getting those ordered up soon and then, um, yeah, really nothing stopping us. So we'll probably get it lowered first. Um, I don't even know the order, I haven't planned it out yet. What do we got, two months left? Yeah, two months. That's yeah, plenty yeah, of time. Hey, excuse me, sir. Um, that shirt's illegal in California? Yeah, that's, uh, does that cause cancer? Probably. Oh, then you're good. Yeah. Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> if you guys know me, you guys know like one of the few things I haven't put on the truck aside from an exhaust tip is a diff cover. And there's a few reasons for that. One being, um, I haven't really found a diff cover that'll like everybody's running the same diff cover. Number two, and this is more of like an excuse that I borrowed, is I believe, and don't quote me on this, you might have better knowledge of this, every single diff cover on the market actually decreases performance from stock. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Any, any of the, the deep, like, flat aftermarket ones are, are usually no good. I'm not saying I'm the first to have it, but I believe I'm one of the very, very early people to have one of these diff covers. Let's crack it open. So let's see what we got. Oh, prepare to smile, bro. Prepare to smile. Look, it already worked. Always smiling. Oh, I guess we are one of the first to have it. <laughs> I'll post a video before September 12th. This is the day the webpage goes. All right, well, I'm gonna take this as we are one of the first, being that there's a disclosure over there saying not to release this video until a certain day. So, in here we've got some of the features and benefits. I don't know if I'm supposed to show you guys this, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. All right, guys, so here's a list of the features and benefits. It might be hard to see on camera. So, in that case, I'm just gonna read it to you. Uh, Banks cools four times better than flat back covers in on-road towing tests over the same road, same weather, operator, and vehicle. Banks cools 118% better than flat back covers in controlled 200 horsepower, 60 mile an hour sustained dyno test. Uh, new patented design features Ram air scoops, which forces air up into massive heat radiation fins, providing the fastest cooling on the market. Provides cold high air velocity, cold high velocity air. God, this, is, this is a lot to read. All right, I'm struggling over here. Uh, overcoming dead air zone behind differential. And that's one of the things that they mentioned to me was basically when you're driving along, um, there's no air getting to the back of your differential, which is where the cooling fins are, because you're basically forcing air up and down, so there's this dead spot right behind your differential. So obviously if you have no air getting to that, which you can't because it's, unless you're driving really fast in reverse, nothing's hitting that. So Banks has a solution for that as well, which I'll show you guys in a second once we open it up. It's got internal heat absorption fins, which transfer the heat through the cover to the external fins. 
Dry mount, high pressure silicone, O-ring seal, no messy RTV cleanup, so that's important. That's good. What's yeah, RTV? Uh, pain in the ass. All right, <laughs> perfect. Clears your spare tire heat shield, pan hard bars and other suspension components. That's what we're gonna test because I've got my uh, rear sway bar that gets kind of close to the differential, but I think we're gonna clear that. Uh, lowest point is the rear differential housing, not the ram air cover. That means it's not adding or it's not taking away from your ground clearance. It's got no need to remove cover to change fluid. Magnetic 3H drain plug with 3H square drive, no hex wrench required. Half inch stainless steel sight glass with contrast screen visual aid. That's nice because I don't know, do any other diff covers have a sight glass on it? I've never seen one. Yeah, I haven't yeah, seen I've one never either. Seen one. Little graph there for you visual learners. If I just like made all you guys go crazy listen to me talk. This is on the Grapevine trailer test. Seems like Banks has a four, per, four times better cool down uses the same amount of oil as factory. So fuel savings per 100,000 miles driven, $251. I don't know what this costs, but I'd imagine it's around 250 so odd dollars, right? It's available in satin black textured powder coat for 395 or natural aluminum for 385. There you go. All right, so, so, so a little bit more than 140,000 miles it'll pay for itself. <laughs> Enough of my talking. Let's actually crack this bad boy open. By the way, beautiful packaging, I have to say. Open here. Woo! Look at that. You know, I thought this was gonna come to me uh, finished. You pull that plastic off there, pal. There we go. So this is what the bank's cover looks like. And here you can kind of see how it works with the Ram Air fins. So basically, this is facing the front of your vehicle. So as you're driving, air passes through these fins and they are shot over the giant cooling fans. And these things are, I don't know, I'd say, what, two and a half inches plus deep? Yeah, yeah, the deepest point, yeah. That's, this is kind of like the, the whole design thing on behind the flat back and all that stuff is, what was happening was, is your, when your ring gear is spinning in your rear diff, it throws the fluid back. So what the normal stock pan does is it actually cups the fluid and throws it up to the top to lubricate everything and cool it off. What was happening with the flatbacks is it was hitting it and just splashing off and going everywhere. So the design behind this is actually to keep your in, increased cooling, but also keep the, the curve to it. So that way you can continue to throw fluid over your, your whole rear differential. Man, am I glad you're here to explain that. <laughs> Being that this is uh, not finished when I thought it was showing up finished, but I do kind of appreciate them not finishing it because I'm sure they figure I want to do something cool for the truck. When in all actuality, like, I don't like super crazy diff covers, uh, being that unless you're like, you know, totally customizing your axle, but if you're putting a colored diff cover mating up to a black axle, it just looks goofy to me that like all of a sudden that part's just color. So I like black diff covers. I don't mind if the fins are like done a little bit different or something like that. But to me, um, all black is kind of the, the way to go for these things. So it looks like we're gonna be taking a trip to the powder coater today, which was a little bit unanticipated, but I think we'll be all right. Before we go though, we've got to add this new sticker here. We've got, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of Yeti since I'm pretty sure they're uh, pretty anti-gun, but Wes donated this, uh, this Yeti to us for the truck shows and stuff. So we've kind of slowly but surely started uh, stickering it up. Got some speed pole, Duramax store, and I think uh, the CP Addicts sticker will look good on here. <laughs> All right, perfect. You guys ever just have a route that you drive that is such a habit that you kind of accidentally drive that way when you're not supposed to? Well, it just happened to me. I was supposed to be going to Swift Powder Code and I ended up actually driving to Preston's. I don't know why. Um, they're like 20 minutes away from each other. So, hey, I guess we'll get back on the freeway and go to Swift Powder Code this time. All right, now we have made it to Swift Powder Coating. No more wrong turns. What uh, color? What do you want it? What so color do you want it to be? A black. It's but black. Want ribs to be able to be seen. Or it's not a powder coat thing. I would. I wouldn't be scared. I'd try it. It's because how thick it has to be to get down in there. Because powder coat's oh. electrostatic, so it's trying to go to the first thing. So it's even right. just trying to get powder down in there is going to be difficult. Gotcha. The whole thing gets submerged and it gets. Well, I'm fine with everything being black, and then if you just finger wipe the fucking load. I'm sorry. It's, I, it's, I, can I, I mean, it, I can even DA that. And it is definitely not quiet back here, but look, they got some massive stuff getting powder coated back here over at Swift. I don't know where he went. I think he just went in one of these booths. Spraying some yellow. Yeah, getting in there is no problem. 
So you say we just do it black. Yeah. Alright guys, well after a bunch of back and forth, uh, we're talking about anodizing it. We decided let's just settle on powder coating it. They did a little test. It looks like it'll get down far enough in the grooves of the cooling fins. So they're actually going to powder coat it and uh, give it back to me today. So where else can you get that kind of service at? Swift powder coating. This is a big booth. What, what size is this booth? Uh, 36 by 14. Wow. So, so what are these drawers over here I was looking at? Those big dust collectors. So All right. There's no VOCs with powder. So when you get, uh, when you shoot it, it's minimal overspray. The overspray the dust comes. They go to the dust collectors. All done and sandblasted. So right now he's masking everything. And the one thing on this diff cover that you have to keep in mind as most diff covers don't have this is you actually have to powder coat part of the backside because that's where the Ram Air fins are. So he's masking it off, trimming it right now. That way we can powder coat the other side black as you will see this from the front of the truck. So all the prep work has been done. The diff cover is now hung up. We've got our 60% uh, black, is that what we call it? Yep, 60%, 38 series black. And the gun ready to go. Remember that, dude. Only, only swift powder will get that stuff done in a day. Less than a day. It's hours. An I'm hour. pretty sure I seen you like an hour ago, right? <laughs> yeah. This is what it looks like when they're powder coating it. I feel like I should be wearing a mask, but I don't know. So it's all sprayed. That was it. Nice and quick and easy. You can see the powder coat always goes on matte and then when they bake it is when it gets a little glossy. We didn't opt to go super glossy with it because it's going to match up to an axle that's not like a super high gloss sheen and it'll be, uh, you know, it'll scratch less when it's underneath the truck. Now it's going into the oven to bake. We have it, brother. What temperature is that at? Let's send our stopwatch is getting started right now. That's going to go in there for 30 minutes, get up to about 380 degrees, about 15 minutes, 20 minutes overall. Not an hour, Jesus. <laughs> We want it well done. All right, here at Swift, we aim to strive to be the best. So our powder usually lasts, I don't know, 10 years, they say, because of temperature deals. So I don't think our powder is ever going to deal. We pumped enough AC into this bad boy. You tell me how cold it is in here. Oh, yeah. So this is what our powder box room looks like. And it's As all you can climate see, controlled. Everything's pretty much organized. All your REL colors here. REL meaning spectrum across the board. Every powder coat shop can get this color. Primers, got white, black, FDA approved white and black, anthracites, metallics, br brilliant silvers. Powders and R, have you seen that? So this is super chrome. That's what it looks like. It's crazy how it turns from that to shiny gloss, right. whatever, reflective. Dude, powders and R, this is gold, pearl, you can add to any powder. Oh, dude, we should throw that in the black. Right, turned it up Spice and Spice it up. It's Battleship Gray, so there you go, there's Bryce. BTS Battleship Gray, followed by BTS Orange. There's your boys over there at BTS, Trophy Truck Team. Nice. Shout out to them. Let's find Wilkie's colors. We got uh -oh. Wilkie in here, dude. Let's find Wilkie, where you at? I need to be, yeah, I need a, I need a spot on the shelf here. There you go, Violet Dormant. There's the candy perps for Wilk. All right, 20 minutes later, here she comes out of the oven. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. It's not too shiny gloss black. I think it's going to match the uh, axle pretty good. It's actually smoking pretty good here. And then we got to wait for it to cool now. Then he's going to come in and he's going to polish off where the Banks logo is. That way just, you can see the Banks logo. So we're going to try and pull off a miracle now, guys. While they're waiting for that to cool before they can get in there and uh, sand off the Banks logo, I'm actually going to run back to the Work Fort World headquarters, grab the BBB, Come back up here because Preston's is kind of in between both of these places. And hopefully by the time we get back, the uh, diff cover is ready to go. I've already called Preston's shop over there. They said, yeah, we got time at the end of the day today. If you can get it before we close, we will actually get the diff cover on today. So, so we went from expecting to have an already finished diff cover and getting that installed today to thinking, all right, well, we got to bring it to the powder coater so it's going to get done tomorrow, maybe, to we're going to get it all done in one day, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So let's race down and grab the BBB. So unfortunately, with all the rush hour traffic, the trip back to the warehouse took about 20 minutes longer than it should have. So we got to jump in the BBB and we got to get out of here because we got to go back to the powder coat shop. Then we got to race over to Preston's before they close. So this is going to be a close one, guys. I think it looks clean like that. That is killer. Heck yeah, dude. All right, so this is how close we are cutting it to the time here. We've got the 
powder coated diff in the back seat over there. A huge, huge, huge thank you to Swift Powder Coat. I'm telling you, like, I was impressed before that they would have a 24 hour turnaround time on stuff for me. That was like an hour turnaround time on a fully done powder coated and sanded back off the uh, Banks logo on there. So, again, a huge thank you to Swift Powder Coating. If you guys are local, make sure you check them out. We're racing over to Preston's right now, and I think, I think we're gonna make it in enough time to get this thing installed. All right, guys, I think we've made it in time. I'm not waiting for anybody, I'm just pulling this thing straight in the shop. I don't know if we're supposed to, but we're doing it. What are we doing to this thing? Oh, we're just surprising with a little 2020 here. Color matched as well already. Dang. Right? Is this yours? Did you finally buy yourself a new truck? Absolutely not. Oh, you don't want no. that? <laughs> no. Color matching the fender flares helps a ton on these trucks. That is for sure. What size wheels and tires are these? Uh, 20s. 20 on... Uh, I don't well, know what... These are what? 35 by 11.5. 35 by 11 and a half and they clear no problem yeah. you know trim a little bit trimming no no trimming oh, that's where i'm getting to but... rubbing a little bit yeah oh well hey buddy i got you something a lot more interesting than that truck back there oh, oh jj so i actually got off the phone with banks on the way over here i am one of allegedly six people that have this diff cover right now and we're probably going to be the first people to leak it we just powder coated it literally that's a randy, randy said it is it's yeah. still in the oven <laughs> So, it's got our sweet cooling fins. What do you think, buddy? A radius back, so it actually is effective, not like the flat back ones. Yeah. Doesn't just go and swirl in and the back. Splash all over. The fins are in the oil, which is nice. Right? And it comes with hardware. And a box? And a box. I like how they had to tell you where to open it. Oh, don't worry, there's a little man in there, too, and he's trapped in there, and he talks about... That's, that's Mr. Gale, man. Yeah, well, he's trapped in there. He is, he's stuck. Zach's down here getting all the old gear oil out of there. Yeah, it smells delicious. Is it a little warm? I was kind of racing over here. A little bit. Feels like you were doing about 100 on 40s. Allegedly. All right, let's see. How do the gears look? It's the first time the diff cover's been opened. Looks geary. Looks geary? Looks like a bunch of parts. All right, good. All the parts are there. Yeah. I like the way you put that O-ring in. It's quite the O-ring you have here. You're really good at putting O-rings in. Is it really an O-ring if it's not in a circle? That's true. This is a ring. Here we go. Moment of truth. Does it fit? Is it the right one for the right truck? Woo. Look at that. So it covers on. Zach's getting everything torqued down. 30 foot pounds. Filling her back up. How's that sight window working? Can you see it? Uh, Not yet. We don't have enough in it yet. It's a window. It's a window. All right, guys. Well, she is all done and installed. One weird thing we did run into was getting the fill plug down. I mean, that's as far as the fill plug wanted to go in without us cranking any harder on that. Nobody wants to crack the case, so... That's, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to go that far, if it's supposed to go further. The sight glass is kind of cool. I'm curious to uh, see how long it takes for the gear oil turns that color, because it's not going to stay that nice yellow for very long. But this will give you guys a better look at how the cooling fins work. So let me go around to the other side of the truck. So I know the lighting's going to be a little bit weird, but essentially the air comes in from the front right here, gets sucked right up into the ram induction little fins that they got and actually runs it over the cooling fins on the back. So that is the biggest innovation with the uh, Banks Ram induction uh, diff cover. We already talked about the other differences that they have as well that kind of separates this from all the other diff covers out on the market. So as of this video going live, I think they are actually being released on their website. I will put a link down in the description. I believe you can only get them in raw right now and then I think next week you'll be able to get them in a uh, black powder coated finish. So make sure you guys go check them out. Got to give a huge thank you today to everybody that jumped in and actually made this miracle happen because I really didn't think we would get this on today. So a huge thank you to Swift Powder Coating for getting it powder coated in like 30 minutes. Zach and everybody else over at Preston's for taking me in the last minute. And, uh, you know, I know we're, I don't know, an hour past closing. So I appreciate them always taking care of me and squeezing me in for these little projects. As well as a huge thank you to Banks for sending me this diff cover. So with that, guys, we're going to wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. Um, the shop's empty. There's nobody here to say roll the outro. What do I got to say now? R roll the outro. She could say it. Oh, hold on. Put hey, it on speaker. Babe, you're on speakerphone. I need you to say roll the outro. What? Just say roll the outro. Roll the outro? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.